guys, Crispy here, and today's video is very special because I'm doing a huge giveaway just for you guys with Makeup Forever. So for one of you guys, you are going to win over $700 worth of Makeup Forever products, which is amazing. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite makeup product is. And I'm gonna tell you guys what you're gonna win. I've it written down. You're gonna win the Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. There's two brushes, a full set of the equalizers, which are these guys right here, an HD powder. So all of the details will be in the info box. And let's get started on this makeup look. So I prepped the skin by applying this serum from Lianico called Gloomy Day Serum. This is gonna help with anti-aging and it's gonna help hydrate the skin. Next, I'm going in with this Argon Oil Light from Josie Marin. The other Argon Oil from Josie Marin, I normally use at night, but this one is nice because it's lighter and you can wear it underneath your foundation. Next, I'm using this Equalizer Primer from Makeup Forever. I've been using this one for a while now. Next, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This has been my favorite foundation for a while now. I really love the coverage and the way it makes your skin look. After my foundation, I like to go over the skin really lightly with a light finishing powder. This is Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder. To contour, I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm just going to mix all those colors. And I'm going to start out by contouring the hairline. Then I'm going to go ahead and do those cheekbones. And then I also just added a little bit of powder all over the face just to warm things up. Next I'm going to do my brows with my very sad brow wiz pencil. It broke, but... You know, you gotta make it work. I really like the look of brows filled in with a pencil. It's just softer, but it also does take like twice as long. So here I'm just filling them in and then I kind of extend the arch outwards because I want my brows to appear longer as, a as opposed to higher. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and take a cream concealer and a flat brush and go ahead and carve out just the bottom line of the brows. So on Twitter I asked you guys what makeup look you wanted to see, if I should do bronze or purple, and uh, bronze got more tweets. So I'm going in with this warm eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and a 224 brush and I'm just putting this in the upper crease area. For the base of the lid I'm going in with this flash color in 19 from Makeup Forever. This is a really cool bronze, um, kind of like a cream color. And I'm just using a flat brush from Sigma to paint this all over the lid and I kind of lightly transitioned it up into that crease color also. Next I took a shimmery eyeshadow from Makeup Forever and just put that right in the center of the lid. On the under eyes I'm applying this Makeup Forever under eye concealer and I used a beauty blender to blend everything out. To warm up the lash line I'm taking this Makeup Forever shadow and I'm mostly concentrating it on the outside area of the eye. Then to give me like a glowy warm look, I'm taking this shimmery shadow and putting it on the inner tear duct areas of the eyes. For my eyeliner, I'm using this Nano Liner from Absolute New York and this has a really really teeny tiny little felt tip so it's nice because you can get that wing really precise. For my lashes today, I'm going to be using this mascara from Givenchy Beauty and I wasn't going to wear lashes so I really spent probably a solid like 20 minutes doing my lashes, which I will spare you from having to watch. Then from such vigorous mascara work, I had to touch up the under eyes, so I went back in with that bronze shadow, and then I also went in with this Carnival eyeshadow from Inspire Beauty. It's a long wear shadow, and just put that right on the lash line. For my highlighter, I went in with this Liquid Gossamer from Jelly Pong Pong in the color Ethereal. I really like using this product because I feel like it just makes the highlighter pop and make it that much more glowy looking. And then I also added a little bit to the tip of my nose and the inner tear duct areas of the eyes. For the cheeks, I use this blush from CoverGirl. This is hands down like my favorite blush. If you guys haven't tried CoverGirl blush, definitely give it a shot. It gives you just the right amount of color and it's really light and soft looking. For the lips, I started out by lining the lips with a really light mauve nude color. Then I used a nude pinky lipstick. Then I finished it off with this sheer gloss from Cargo Cosmetics. All right, you guys, so that was a whole makeup look. I hope that you liked it. Definitely give me thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and let me know your video suggestions down below, what kind of makeup looks you guys wanna see. I'm totally refreshed, rebooted after Halloween, ready for new videos, so let me know what you guys wanna see. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.